and Jetbooking 3.7 is here, bringing powerful new features to streamline your booking process. From automating workflows and notifications to a thumb picker for checking checkout, these updates will make managing bookings smoother than ever. This is Julia from Crocoblock, and let's start with the workflows feature. You can now automate booking notifications with custom scenarios, ensuring seamless communication with the clients at every stage of the booking process. Once you update the plugin to the 3.7 version, there will be a new Workflows tab in the booking settings. This tab allows configuring the notification system for clients. It can be used for sending confirmations, reminders, feedback requests, etc. If you set the plain booking mode in the general settings tab as I have, you need to configure the email field in the booking form. And now let's activate the Enable Workflows toggle and click the New Workflow Item button. Please keep in mind that a new workflow item will affect only bookings created after adding this item. So what about the settings that we have here? Event is a drop-down menu where an event can be chosen to initiate a workflow action. So there is a booking created, an email will be sent after the booking creation, and a booking status changed. An email will be sent after the booking status is changed. This option activates the status drop-down menu. There is also the start drop-down menu to select the trigger time for running the current workflow. When choosing the first option, a workflow will be initiated immediately. Scheduled allows setting the schedule details like a date with the check-in and check-out options, condition that contains before and after options that allows the selection of the date threshold conditions. And the last one is days, a field to enter the selected number of days. For example, email should be sent one day before check-in. Clicking the new action button enrolls such settings. Name is an action name to visually identify it in the list. And such actions available to run. Send an email that activates additional fields that support the Jetbooking macros. An address to send the email to. The subject of the email to be sent. An address from which the email is sent. The name of the email sender. And the content of the email to be sent. When it is set to call a webhook, it activates the URL text field to specify the webhook URL for sending event data. The URL should be valid and accessible. For this case, I will set the booking created option in the event drop-down menu and immediately in the start drop-down. This way the email will be sent immediately to the client after the booking creation. As for the send email action, I will enter the name, let's say confirmation email, and keep the send email action. In the next fields, you can enter static text or use dynamic Jetbooking macros to personalize it. In the send to field, I will enter the recipient's email address. To set this dynamically, I will click the database button, select the booking data macro, and choose user email as the data type. After that, the macro will be inserted into the field. This ensures the email is automatically sent to the customer who made the booking. Email's subject can include such details as booking ID, customer name, check-in date, or other relevant information. For example, I will press the database button, select the booking data macro, and choose ID as the data type. Before the macro, I will enter the static text, your booking confirmation, followed by macro. In the send from field, I will enter the address from which the email is sent. In the next field, send from name, I will type the name of the email sender. And the last one here, message, where you can customize the email body using static text and macros like this. 
Please keep in mind that no matter how the workflow items options are configured, the workflow will not function if the enable workflows toggle is switched off. All is done and now we can check how it works. Let me proceed to the front end and the booker room. By the way, the email field of course has a validation that ensures users enter a properly formatted email address in the form. Right after the checkout, I get an email with the reservation details. Besides, there will be also a user email field in the booking actions. If you have some old bookings, you will still be able to manually fill in this field when editing the bookings. Moreover, now the units will be also displayed in the booking details. When creating a new booking on the backend with the plain mode turned on, you'll get a toggle Create a WooCommerce order where you can fill in the billing details. So with this new functionality, you can keep clients informed with the timely confirmations, reminders or follow-ups, and even inform clients when a booking is cancelled. You can also set up notifications for different booking stages based on your workflow. No more need to manually track and send messages for each booking. Now let's move on to the next call feature added in the recent update. You can add a time picker to the check-in checkout field, allowing users to select a time range. Plus, set buffer time to prevent bookings within specific time gaps, for example, to allow for apartment cleaning. All that can be set up in the schedule settings. When enabled, it activates the following settings. Time picker restrictions is a feature that applies time-based reservation restrictions automatically blocking certain time slots based on existing bookings and configured settings. It works best with a per-night booking period to ensure accurate availability management. It activates the buffer time option that allows setting a time gap between bookings to prevent back-to-back -back reservations specified in hours and minutes. The system will automatically block the specified time before and or after each booking to ensure proper availability. By default, the 2-hour buffer time is set. Next, you can also change the time range available for selection and the time slot interval. The last option is set to 1 hour by default, which means slots like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock will be available. So, here is my form and the red check-in and check-out dates fields added, and the time picker drop-down will be visible on the front end. When making a booking, the users will be able to pick a specific time along with a date. The selected time will be displayed in the cart, on checkout, as well as the thank you page, and also the booking details that can be checked on the bookings page will also include the time picked in the check-in and check-out field. This data can be changed and saved if needed. When creating a booking manually, you will be also able to pick the suitable for the user time. And that's it for this overview. With workflows and notifications, you can automate communication, sending confirmations, reminders, and updates without manual effort. The new time picker lets users select precise check-in and check-out times, and you can even set buffer periods to prevent back-to-back -back bookings. These features will definitely make the booking process smoother, more flexible, and easier to manage. So guys, what do you think about the new features? Let us know in the comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.